Okay, so as I said in the last video, let's allow the user now to, or we already allowed him to pick up an image. Now we need to save it to the Firebase. For that, I will explain you how we will do it. So in the Firebase, we need to access the storage. Okay, so in here you can create a folder, for example, let's name it user images and say add folder and inside of it we can add images just like how fonts works for example let's upload a file for example i would choose this in here and once it is done you can get the link for it so this link we need to use it so this link we need to use it and add it in this field for the image URL. For example, I can add it in here and save it just like this. But we need to do to do it dynamically once the user register. So let's start implementing it. But first I will delete this collection and I will remove the accounts from the authentication so I can use them again. And I will delete this folder also. So I will select it and delete it just like this. Now I cleared everything and we can try again. So now we can start implementing the code. And as I said, we are going to use the storage. For that, we need to access the pub.dev and search for the storage search for Firebase storage actually and here it is go to installing as usual and copy this go back to pubspec.tml file and just paste it in here and save your file go back now to sign up and in here we need to do something if the user pick an image and if not we need to do something else so before actually before this before that the user create an account We need to do something and actually the file store is a future in here the setting data is a future we need to await it it is important to we need to await it and it is important to we need to await it and actually this is very important very important to handle the errors so in here, let's say actually, if the picked image is null, we need to do something. And for sure, I did it inside of the if statement of is is valid or not. So if the form is valid, we will get an error if the user didn't pick an image. In here, if the user didn't pick an image, we can access this and show him a dialogue in here let's say just please pick an image like this and actually we need to initialize the url so that we will use it later so in here let's say string url just like this now in the else we need to do something else to allow him to upload it to the Firebase storage. So in here, let's say final, I will name it ref to access the Firebase storage. So Firebase storage in here and call dot instance dot ref. And in here we need to access child and the child is actually the path. So if it doesn't create just like the Firestore, if this collection didn't found yet, it will be created automatically and now this child is actually the folder so i will name the name for it the user images like this and as a child of this folder we can access another child and in here i will name it as the name of the user and we need to add the extension for it i will use dot gpg 
just like this. Now we need to do something to put the file in it. So in here, let's say await and access this ref and say put file and access the file and for sure the file here is the picked image so just like this now from this we can get the url so after that this image is being uploaded the ref will contain the url for it and for sure since we are awaiting it it will be awaited so now let's access the url and set it to ref dot say get download url i still getting an error because this is actually a future so we need to add await keyword in here just like this now this url can be used instead of this empty string in here i will actually also cut the process and run it again since i added this this firebase storage package so let's go back and run it again and wait till it's done great so now the process is done and let's give it a try let's say in here in here test as usual and in here access the mail and in here the password add any phone number and try to sign up now Great, so I got an error, but the account is being created. In here, this we need to cut it and place it in here. So let's go back and give it a try. So in here, let's I will start it first. Say sign up and let's give it a try. com and say the password give anything and try to sign up now okay it's still working okay so let's check if it worked or if an account is created so let's go back to the firebase authentication and refresh this page also so yeah an account is being created and the two documents has been added i will delete them first and delete this and delete this so what we can do is cut this code and paste it and the else block in here now i will start it and give it a try still getting the account okay so let's sign up access the email and give a password for it try to sign up now i got an error and the other code is not being executed let's make sure that nothing is being executed so in here let's may refresh or reload and reload this page also still empty and in here still empty okay so let's add any image and I forgot to tell you something about the picked image. For example, let's go back to the picked image and in here you can add image quality, for example, max height, max, max width, anything that you want. For example, let's say 10 or 20 to check the quality for it. I will keep it 10 and I will start it later. Now let's take this. Okay, press down. Here it is. Now let's try to sign up. Okay, so I got an error. And if you read this error, it is just like I explained before. We need to allow the users to write to the Firebase storage. So let's go to the rules and the storage section in here and check the rules. Okay, so in here it says if the request auth is not null. So this is mean that the users are only allowed to add images to the Firebase storage or add any item to this Firebase storage only if they are 
logged and or registered. So I will delete this and say publish. So it's got published. Let's go back to files and try now. Okay, so now it is done. Let's go to this page. Everything is working fine. And in here, nice, it's being added to the Firebase storage. Let's check the Cloud Fire Store and let's check the authentication. So in this authentication tab, I got this test that I used it. And the Cloud Fire Store, I got the user ID, which is the info that I just added them. And in the Firebase storage, let's check the image. Okay, so I got no file added in here. So we might got an error. I'll make sure the, of that. Okay, so I find out that everything is working fine and we just need to access the storage. We are inside a file in here. That's why we don't get any image. And actually, here's the image that I added already. And in the Cloud Fire Store, here's the Firebase storage. So I will delete now everything and make sure that everything is working fine. Let's access this tab and delete everything. And I will delete this also. Reload and reload and reload. Let's uh, restart the application again. Try to log out and now register. So let's say testers and say testers in here at gmail.com add a password and a phone number pick an image and try to sign up i'm getting no errors and the console so everything must work very well so an account is being created and still waiting until the image is being uploaded so let's restart it now so press on it here it is the user images which is we create its name from here so here it is user images actually I will change it to capital I and uh, the full name let's check the image in here so here it is as testers because i chose the image to be as the name of the user and with this extension so here it is dot jpg and let's go back to the cloud file store and reload those two pages so great so here is the url let's copy it and make sure that this is the right image so here it is and as you can see the quality of the image is not so good since I changed the image quality from the picked image method so where it is so yeah here it is so you can play with it as what you want so everything is working fine and everything is being added and in here the email is being added to here so in the next tutorials we will implement the reading info in here so in this page we will be displaying the email the phone number the others info about the user so stay tuned